Hey, a lot of you guys have been asking this question, so I'm going to give you the answer right now. We're talking about penis enlargement, and I'm going to give you the truth about penis enlargement. But first, we're going to break down a bunch of the myths surrounding penis enlargement, and we're going to talk about the condition that you need to be in in order for penis enlargement to work for you. And there's a bunch of things, extra things you need to know that I want to make sure you, you get. And we're going to talk about a penis enlargement technique that you can use today and it's free so hey go for it hey this is brian aka uncle b and for the last 20 years i've been the sexual performance coach with african fly and the reason why i can talk about this topic with confidence is because i've experienced penis enlargement way back in the day uh, 20 years ago first started taking african fly and one day i'm sitting there on the bed just laying down and my girl is getting dressed so i'm sitting there watching her and then she walks over and starts stroking me. I was like, did your penis get bigger? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You, you want that question to be asked. Believe me. Uh, it was an amazing day. I'll always remember it. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to get into what is necessary for you to have a larger penis. And specifically, we're going to once again, break down the myths and lies. We're going to talk about where you should be on the sexual performance scale for this to work for you. We're going to go through some things you need to know, and then we're going to get into the growth point principle and the fourth stage of penis enlargement. Plus, I got a bonus tip, so stick around to the end. I'll let you know what to do when you get larger. <laughs> it's just, just as important, you know. It's sort of funny, too. But anyway, as always, if you like what you hear, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit like, give your questions and comments. We'd like to hear from you. Please, no BS. You know, we want to share the information so we can all learn together. And as always, let me break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, let's run through the myths that are out there. First of all, a penis enlargement pill is not going to work for you, really. It's not something that you can just take a pill and stuff works. We're talking about, you know, moving blood flow and testosterone and all these different things, and that requires you to do work. You have to put in work. The other thing to understand is that when we talk about enlargement, you're going to only grow to the size that you're capable of. Most men are 20 to 30 percent smaller than what they should be due to lifestyle and not knowing about these different techniques. So that's something to remember. And also, there is no time limit for this and there is no permanency. <laughs> it's just like working out. You can't work out, stop working out and expect to keep those results for years. You have to continually go through this process. Your body is going to change. What you look like when you're 20 is not what you look like when you're 81. But you can use these techniques to stay at your largest size for as long as you want to. Just it's up to you. You have to do the work. And so let's talk about the condition that you have to be in. The first thing to understand is that you need to be at an 8 to 10 on a sexual performance scale. Uh, we'll leave a link around here somewhere for uh, that piece of information that you need to know. Uh, so you can look at the video and find out more. But that basically means you having morning spontaneous and on-demand erections. When I say on-demand erection, I mean, if you could just sit there and think about something sexual and have an erection, there you go. You're in that eight to 10 range. 10 is all three of those at the same time. So that's really where you want to be in order for the penis enlargement to work its best and for you to get to your largest size. And in order to do this, you do have to do the work and the work includes eating clean, high intensity interval training, getting your sleep, relieving stress, all of those things we talk about in the other videos. So make sure you check them out. All of them lead up to you being able to get to your largest size because all of this is talking about blood flow and testosterone. So with that information, let's rock and roll into the next things you need to know. And the first thing that you need to know is that women don't care. I've talked to a bunch of women this Part of my job and they don't particularly care about size they're more concerned about your level of confidence with what you have so make sure you're paying attention to how you think about yourself in terms of your sexual performance and that carries over to impressing her and also remember women have different sizes themselves the other thing to remember and i've heard this more than the opposite was which is for a lot of women some guys are just too large. If you're large, you know, that whole thing about, oh, he has me walking crazy and blew my back out. They don't actually want to walk around <laughs> crazy and, and being, you know, 
pleasurable pain, but still unpleasurable if you're doing it, still feeling it the next day. So yeah, it, you don't have to you don't have to be 12 inches to satisfy the vast majority of women. So two quick things. One, you can sh shave your pubic hairs. That'll just make you look <laughs> larger. That's something that you can do immediately. And also two ways to feel bigger while in her. One is to, wh whether she's riding or you're on top, is to squeeze her cheeks together <laughs> and squeeze them towards you. Uh, that'll make you feel bigger while you're in her. In any position where her legs are closer together, that's gonna make you feel bigger in her, that's just a physical thing, just the way we're designed. <laughs> so use those two steps right there for something immediate. So let's go ahead and hop into the techniques here. There are four stages of an erection. We're talking about firmness, swelling, hardness, and heat. So firmness, that's when you first start to move. Things are moving down there. Swelling is when you're erect, but not hard enough for penetration. The third stage, hardness, that's when you have the most sex when you're at that stage. The fourth stage is heat, and that's where ejaculation is imminent. That stage, you're only in there for like five seconds before eh, <laughs> you have your orgasm. The whole practice here of penis enlargement is staying at your largest size possible so you're getting more blood flow down there and it's allowing your your body to expand to get to its largest size possible. So with that in mind, the growth point principle is all about getting to that stage and staying at that stage. And it requires masturbation. <laughs> it requires for you to learn how to get to that stage, like, you know, you know how to get to that stage, but staying in that fourth stage without ejaculating. That's, it takes some time, it takes some practice, but it's, it's well worth it. Couple of tips, make sure to breathe while you're doing this. While I was figuring all this stuff out, it was like, oh, I, oh, whew, gotta remember to breathe. But the benefit of this is that you're going to be able to not only get bigger, but you're able to go into the fourth stage while having sex without ejaculating. So you can just be in third stage, everything's fine, and you're like, mm, let me focus my mind and let more blood flow go down into that area. That's the whole practice. That's when you're gonna start seeing the difference is when you're able to control that on your own. So, you know, you're now in the fourth stage, the stage that she really loves because during that fourth stage, you're at your largest size and you're radiating heat. That's why it's called the heat stage. And that's the reason why women like it when you have your orgasm. So that's the thing to keep in mind. A big point right here is Try not to use porn while doing this. If you use your imagination, that's much better. But this goes into a different subject in terms of like porn and how it's messing up a lot of men's sex life in a way that they don't realize. I'll do another video on that at another time. But let me go ahead and give you that bonus <laughs> that I was talking about. That is, you're gonna need larger condoms. <laughs> Once you go through this process, you go that 20 to 30%. Yeah, yeah. For me, I didn't realize that, so I'm running around with tight condoms for a while. I was like, did I realize like, oh yeah, larger condoms, uh, duh. So yeah, that's one thing you have to pay attention to, but that's a great situation to have. Go for it. Go ahead and use these techniques. I will say that African fly can help with this. I'm not gonna say it's a shameless plug or not, but it's just that it is what it is. So if you have more blood flow going down there and you have more testosterone, the testosterone to help your, your stamina so you can last longer, you can stay in the fourth stage for a longer period of time and it'll help with your growth process. So as always, remember, please hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit like, leave your comments, ask your questions below. Once again, no BS in the comment section. We wanna learn from each other. And I got a question for you. Have you ever tried those pills? Did it work? Did anything come out of it? And will you do it now? Personally, I say to all guys, this is a goal. This is a lifelong goal. The last thing, penis atrophy. That's when your penis shrinks. So you imagine that 20 year old and then when he's 81, uh, yeah, things changed on his body. So one of, the, one of the reasons for doing penis enlargement is so you can avoid penis atrophy and you won't start shrinking. Hmm, yeah, important. So once again, this is Uncle B. Hey, I appreciate you. I will talk to you later. Peace out.